After legislation failed six times since 2013, a group of concerned citizens formed Ensure the Good Life and gathered 135,000 signatures to get Initiative 427 on the midterm ballot. We've seen insurance premiums rise for the rest of us by over 200% in the last four years. People are sick and they're getting sicker and um, the cost of health insurance is not getting cheaper. Insure the Good Life says this would help 90,000 Nebraskans stuck in the coverage gap. These are people who are working as hard as they can at jobs that just don't come with health insurance and they make too much money to qualify for Medicaid now and not enough money to qualify for a subsidy on the insurance market. And it crowds out services for our most vulnerable. Jessica Shelburne is with the conservative tax spending group Americans for Prosperity, which is against the Medicaid expansion. Medicaid was intended for the elderly, the developmentally disabled, low income children and low income pregnant women and expanding that to include 19 to 64 year old able body childless adults puts the services at risk for those that it was intended for. Mandy says a yes vote would bring millions of dollars back to the state. That money from our taxpayers and from our workers is used to pay for health care for workers in the 33 other states that have already expanded Medicaid. But if we have to fill budget gaps and we cut those services, then the individuals in the expansion as well as the individuals who are the traditional population for Medicaid are losing. Well, and Shelburne also wonders where the state is going to find the extra money to pay for the expanded health care. Reporting live, Michelle Bandour, KETV News Watch 7.